Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is team one, and uh, we are uh, presenting market segmentation. Okay, so like uh, index, uh, like we will be dealing with the introduction, the uh, types and the uh, pros and cons. So basically for any company uh, to survive and to even uh, decide for its product with so much diverse, uh, diverse uh, people. And even like if you consider gender uh, and even within a gender, there is so much uh, uh, diversity of thoughts and, uh, um, you know, choices. So this is where the market segmentation takes place because companies cannot, you know, connect with all the customers in a large and broad sense. So uh, market segmentation is nothing but this is where... Uh, we are just dividing the market, the whole market into smaller slices defined in various categories, where, uh, whether it can be either democratic, uh, demographic, interest, needs or location. So these segments are uh, uh, consist of the people with her similar uh, sets of needs and wants. Next slide, please. Excellent. Wow. And basically, if you see why uh, market segmentation will be useful is that, first of all, it will determine the market opportunities uh, based on the place and the gender or any other, uh, uh, you know, category uh, as recommended. And also, we can, uh, uh, considering this, we can make a tailor-made uh, product and customized product. And also, uh, we can uh, design the product accordingly and also determine the pro uh, pr product pricing also. Yeah. Next slide, please. Yeah. I'll go ahead, Shivran Lima. Yeah, type based on types of there are several types of market segmentation, but majorly we focus on four four aspects. That is behavioral segmentation, psychographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, geographic segmentation. Behavioral segmentation, physiographic segmentation mainly focus on individual aspects, but a demographic and geographic uh, majorly focus on the group aspects. And when we see the factors that includes in market segmentation, there are four aspects. Like uh, individually, geographic includes the the area where the where we are targeting, and demographic includes the the things like gender, race, and status of the family, and psychographic includes the personality of the person, the like leadership skills and based on his lifestyle, and majorly behavioral includes the occasions based on the needs and the brand loyalty he is having in his own mind. And next. Next one is the geographical segmentation. In this, uh, we segment the market according to the climatic zone, continents, country, region, states, and district, or urban or rural areas. Yes. Uh, first, any marketer starts with the first with uh, the geographical segmentation, then go for the other segmentations. Uh, in India, the uh, the companies generally segment the market according to the uh, states, then districts, then rural and urban areas. Example is a Nike. Uh, Nike uh, uses geographical segmentation like uh, they sell their products in the uh, US uh, because uh, uh, as uh, the uh, US the US football uh, is famous and in India they sell as a uh, uh, cricket cricketers they marketing uh, through the cricketers because in India the uh, cricket is a more famous like that thank you good sure now the demographic segmentation here the demo demographic segmentation is classified majorly based on the race, religion, community, language, age, stage, and multiple factors like a gender and marital status also inc included. When you take the uh, factor like uh, age, uh, the market segmentation will be different for the infants is different and a child and a teens, youth, middle aged market and elders is different. Yes. And if, if I want to quote an example for this is like if you are preparing a dress, if it is a, a cloth manufacturing company, yeah. the age, uh, the, uh, the dress code will be different. For the teens, it will be jeans. For the elder ones, it will be different cloths. It, it completely different on the age. Next is social class. Social class is majorly upper classes, middle classes, lower classes. We also can differentiate based on the genders and income. If, you, if I quote an example for income, when you look at the airlines, the seats will be of a different, different based on the incomes, like uh, business class, first class, the, 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 those are based on the income parameters. This is about the demographic segmentation. Great. One minute, one more minute for team one, please. As an it up. So coming to the psychographic segmentation, it is basically the process of creating clusters of customers who share similar characteristics and then grouping them together. 
these clusters will form subsets or seg or segments of customers based on their social class lifestyle interests etc so knowledge of lifestyle can provide a very rich and meaningful picture of a person organizations can assess psychographic information precisely by tracking a user's activity on social media online platforms online product purchases or use of mobile applications so it can indicate whether a person is interested on out in outdoor sports shopping culture or reading it can include information concerning attitudes and personality traits so lifestyle can also be used to define a segment empirically this is often called psychographic segmentation here or as already quoted an example in our class that is of the travel backpack so it can be example of psychographic segmentation thank, thank you. you thank you hmm. uh, where does behavioral segmentation divides consumers according to the behavioral patterns as they interact with a company as the name suggests this this category of segmentation studies the behavioral traits of consumer the knowledge of attitude towards uses likes dislikes response to a product service promotion or a brand uh, whereas examples of behavioral segmentation are purchasing habits like uh, how customers approach the purchase decision the customers role in purchasing process uh, user stat status user status is uh, there are many kind of users like non users prospects first time buyers regular users and defectors uh other examples are spending habits of the customers and brand interactions that is superb coming to the limitations of segmentation the first one is lack of information and data some markets are poorly researched with little information about what customers want and the second one is difficulty as uh, humans don't we have uh, all same in the uh, same way in the all time uh, difficulty in measuring and predicting consumer behavior and uh if you are targeting the rural market it is hard to reach the customer segments even though if you identify them then the fourth one is if the if your product is new you cannot you don't have the market to research to base your segmentation and uh, it depends on the entrepreneur knowledge of market also the segmentation will limit thank you and thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you, thank you very much those slides are more beautiful And the presentation is excellent, you know. And Zanpe, what I tried covering in one hour, you guys covered in five minutes. Superb job! Thank you, sir. Congratulations! Thank you very much.